massive explosion has torn through the Lebanese capital, Beirut, killing at least 70 people and injuring more than 3,700. It's not yet known what caused the explosion, but Lebanon's prime minister says his country is facing a catastrophe. This is the zero point, the point where the explosion started. We don't really know how much money we have right now. in Frankfurt. That is just reading the New York Times. <laughs> okay, so for some reason, I always get stopped at passport controls, but this time they went even farther. They started asking me why I was traveling to Beirut. Um, they thought my passport was false. They were trying to verify it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Germany. <laughs> That's, that's a nice welcome. Öffnen Sie erst dann vorsichtig. Check out our room in Beirut. Thanks, Zoe. For sharing with us the amazing views. <laughs> We don't really know like the change here, how it works, because if you look on, on the internet, it says like 1,400, but now it's like, how much? Like for $20, we got four, 480,000. So we don't really know how much money we have right now. But we made it. Yes, but that's nice. So yeah. How are the cheese rolls? It's an out of ten. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm about the uh, the fries. Nine. Nine? Lur? Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine, okay. Mm -hmm. Nine. And uh, your chips? <laughs> We already finished everything and we are still eating the last parts. Like, we thought we had enough, but it's never enough. It's Contrast this building and then this new one. As it is Ramadan, we are eating here in a square where nobody sees us because it's quite disrespectful to eat like in public that's a big ass jellyfish
morning, we might be in the best Starbucks ever. All of these are parts of sculptures that were destroyed after the explosion in Beirut in 2020. We are now heading to the uh, Beirut city center to the downtown. downtown. Yeah, downtown and area. now we are beginning to see more expensive housing and more expensive restaurants. First, said that we just passed across the most expensive restaurant in Beirut. Yeah. So it's it's a very there are many contrasts in this city, and I think that's what makes it even more interesting. where the explosions happened and affected the entire city breaking almost all glasses and everything oh my god 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 we can't rule anything out at this point. It does appear that the blast happened in the port area. We are now entering the Christian uh, neighborhood. We just been in quarantine, which is a neighborhood uh, which was created to host these people that had to do the quarantine when they came in the ships. Now we just came across another street and we are entering this new neighborhood, which is quite interesting. We have the mosque here and next to it the cathedral. This is the square uh, of the star, or La Place de l'Etoile. Uh, this square has been closed for um, many years since the revolution in order to protect the 
governmental buildings, but right now uh, we have been allowed to go get inside because we are a big group and we are going with a the guide. Therefore, they opened this uh, military control just to for us to see this square. <laughs> Downtown of Beirut. Yes, and we have just entered a secret place that is protected by militaries. What you saw yesterday, basically we were we were invited to uh, to see a film, to watch a film. Um, it was the premiere of the film. We were the first ones to watch it, and in a few minutes, uh, that film, that um, event turned into a party. Exactly. And we had more specifically a rave. Yeah, like a Arabic way. It was this exactly. penthouse in the top of a building, but you could Nine see all floor. of Beirut, and we uh, had. We were dancing like crazy Arabic dances, and, and it was Syria, and they were yeah. telling us where the music was from, and it was very cool. Exactly. We are now in the Armenian neighborhood and you can notice that because you we can see we can see some signs that say Turkey did a genocide and you can see it all over here. That's when you start like realizing where you are, I guess. Some say this is the uh, oldest city in the world. We are about 15 kilometers from the Syrian border. 